Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Haja and in today's video I want to demonstrate how to apply this blue pastel look with a bold winged eyeliner on hooded eyes. This blue eyeshadow look, as we 90s people know, was worn on a daily basis, but today it kind of disappeared from our color palettes. So that is why I thought of reviving this 90s blue look using the Natasha Denona pastel palette. Without further ado, let's jump straight into this tutorial. So first of all, we prime the lids with eye primer, which I have done but forgot to record. It is crucial to use an eye primer on lids since it helps the pastel shades to last long without creasing. On top, use a very light shaded concealer that is kind of three to four shades brighter than our usual concealer. I'm using the Fit Me concealer in the shade 06 all over my lid. The reason we go for a bright shaded concealer is simply to make the pastel shades pop out. Now dust the lid with loose translucent powder by Laura Mercier to set the concealer into place. Then dip in your flat dense applicator brush into the pastel blue shade Airy from the Natasha Denona palette and apply the product preferably by pressing it onto the lid since pastel shades turn patchy if you apply them in sweeping motions which you can observe when I sweep the brush. One thing I really cannot compare since this palette by Natasha Denona is my first pastel eyeshadow palette is is it normal for pastel pigments to be so chalky like you have to layer a lot of product until you reach an even application. It would be kind if you share your thoughts and experience with other pastel shades from other brands in the comment section. Now back to the application. As you can see I'm layering a lot without blending the eyeshadow because if the product moves it will start to look patchy. I stay under my crease fold while applying this shade on my whole mobile lid. In the next step, I switch to the shade Bubble from the palette on a tapered blending brush and now blend into my whole crease fold just to soften out the edges and create a little transition as well as depth. Talking about depth, with pastel shades you barely can create depth. As you can see, pastel shades in general are great as a companion palette as you cannot create any contour or depth with them. As I was blending my crease fold, I accidentally went over my mobile lid with the brush and had to reapply the removed eyeshadow. As for the last eyeshadow application, we use a mix of Limoncello and Illusion around the tear duct with a pointed dense brush. We also apply the highlighting shades under the brow bone for a pop of shine. Finally, we apply our black liquid eyeliner and create a bold winged eyeliner. I do not want to focus a lot on explaining how to apply the eyeliner on hooded eyes as I have tons of hooded eyes eyeliner tutorials on my channel. The one I would recommend and explain this style of eyeliner is the bold winged eyeliner tutorial which I will link down in the comment section. Now back to the application. Summing it up, you have to keep your eyes open when first creating the flick to create an even flick that looks less crooked when your eyes are open. Now when you want a bold thick winged liner, the issue is that depending on how hooded your eyes are, it will still look a little crooked. That is why I recommend working with thin lines and a thin flick in general on some hooded eye shapes. But for this look, I wanted a thick liner, so I evened out the wing after filling it as much as possible. I also lined my upper lash line, making the line more narrow when reaching the inner corner, so it gives us the cat eye look. I have to add that the thickly applied eyeshadow pigments made it hard for my eyeliner to glide easily on my lid. However, do not worry about the crook on the outer lid, we have a plan for that later on. Next, I work on my lower lashes, applying the shade Airy from the palette under my lower lash line and connect it with the upper lash line using a smudge up brush. Then, to open up the eyes further, we use a beige colored cool liner by Sense Cosmetics and line our whole lower waterline. 
As for the next step, I apply the Maybelline Sky High Mascara in zigzag motions on my upper as well as my lower lashes. False lashes are a must when you apply bold winged eyeliner. I'm using the Kiss Full Mink Lashes in the design little black dress. I place the falsies on my upper lashes and gently press them against the lid. To blend in the falsies seamlessly with my natural lashes, I use a lash curler and press them together. We're almost done, but I thought I would demonstrate a beautiful nude lip look that goes well together with this eye makeup. So first of all, I removed my tinted lip balm with makeup remover and applied a little foundation or concealer on my lips, blending it all over my lips with a beauty blender. Then I use a dark brown lip pencil and contour my lips. The lines do not need to be perfectly even. Just make sure you contour a lip shape and do not create another one. Now with the Revolution Satin Matte Lipstick in the shade Cashmere, we go all over the lips, also covering the contours. Again, it is okay if the lines do not look evenly pigmented beneath the lipstick. Finally, on top we apply the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb Lip Gloss and Fenty Glow all over the lips. That way the lip pencil and lipstick melt into each other, creating a beautiful glowy ombre lip look. Do you remember when I said it is okay if the bold wing liner still looks a little crooked? Here's the reason, I have shown this product a lot of times in my previous videos. It simply is a lifting strap tool that has two clips on both sides, so you clip it to your hair on the sides and adjust the tightness for a lifted eye look. Because the skin is stretched outwards, the fold that created the crook on my eyes disappears. And no, this is not sponsored, I just love it and I think you can wear it perfectly for a photo shoot so I thought I would share it with all of you who are new here. That's it basically for this 90s inspired blue pastel look. You can wear this look to a summer party as it really brings out some good vibes. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and leave me a thumbs up as well as subscribe for more helpful and inspirational tutorials every Sunday. Thank you!